Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. OK, welcome back to Saturday Social. As you can see, we've moved areas because it's time to do some blind rankings between Robbie and Boovy. This is going to be featuring Manchester City and Arsenal players, and it's going to be based on this season's form only. OK, the guy's going to rank a player and they're not going to know the next player until he's revealed. So I want lots of debate between you as to where you put them on the board. Let's have a look who our first player is. OK, Saka having his best season in Arsenal shirt. Robbie, before you put him on, let's have a little bit of debate. Where do you think he should belong? I'd say he's either going to be one or two. No he's been way. absolutely brilliant. Um, the most, one of the most consistent players in the Premier League. Absolutely. We were talking about it earlier. Even yeah, yeah. You, you, so that point you said about the substance thing. You right. said about so, his so, substance. Well, you said he was. He, you you made a great point. We we're talking about Jeremy Doku. Doku's yeah. got style, but at the moment, yeah, little yeah, substance yeah. because he's he's new to the league. Yes. He's all substance, Saka, and and not really style. I don't know. He's, he's got a bit. He's got, no, a bit no, of style about him. Style. Let's relax. What there. I said is Doku. <laughs> what I said is Doku's got like. If you watch Doku, you'd be like, oh wow, amazing. Look at you know, yeah. dynamic, mm. explosive. But at the end of the great game, you look at his stats, the figures. Did he have an assist? No. Did he score? Mm. No. Yeah. Saka will just get on, do what he's doing. And sometimes you'll even think to yourself, hey, he had an all right game. But, and then you look at the, the game's finish, yeah, yeah, but he scored and he had an assist mm. and he was involved in that build-up. You know, he, but we've got to think about the game. These yeah. lads aren't idiots, Robbie, OK? <laughs> They've got some fantastic players coming up. Think yeah, of Rodri, is, think of Johnston, think of your boy Declan Rice. Declan Rice had a better season. But has he potentially been? He's a fantastic been? player. But he can't be one. This is a, I'd no, say, I'd I'd say one or two. I'd say three. I'm going to put him in at two. Come on, we've got to debate. Huh? I have debated. I've already you, said OK, you do, I get the next one then. All right, well, what's, what, what do you want it's to add to three, that? three, because he's been fantastic. Of course he is. But if Declan Rice is in the list, even Saliba, Gabriel's had a better season. Am I wrong? No, Gab well, I Gabriel's had a better season. Had, I think he's had a Saliba's season. had a better season. Ben White's had a better season, relatively speaking. Do you, do you agree with that? Uh, do you agree with those no, points? No, I think he's had as good a season. Pro I'd say Rice has probably had a better season. But Saliba? he's up there. I'm talking again about consistency. Mm. Yeah, he's been I'm amazing. talking again about this guy is one of our most important players. If he's missing... We've got problems. He I'd like to see him show up at the Etihad on Sunday. I'd like to see him no, rock will. up. You'll see him. He wasn't in the game last year when you got him. smashed. Remember yeah, that? He he was in... <laughs> what about a home game? Yeah. What, what about the, a game this season? Deflected goal that you keep banging on about. Oh, but we won. Big club, apparently. Game, yeah? Big club. Won, right. about deflected no, goals. We win the game. Yeah, we played yeah, you twice this season and beat you. Pushing you for I'll a decision. I'm two. <laughs> it's going in at number two. OK, Bakayo Saka straight on the board at two. The boys don't know who's coming next. Let's have a look at who it is. Robbie celebrating in the studio there. Kai Havertz, a controver Six million down there, Kai Havertz, was a a controversial figure, but he's actually been massively influential, especially brilliant. in 2024. Absolutely brilliant for Arsenal. When we was first buying him, you know, I have to admit, I was like, I don't know, man. Mm. 60 million, Havertz. Mm. I mean, he didn't really tear it up at Chelsea, but I have to say, a little bit of a slow start. But he's been really, really important for us. And playing in that sort of false number nine position, yeah. I don't think anybody in the league's played it as well as him. In the false number nine. I'm not saying out mm. and out striker, but in that false number nine mm. position. He has been really, really good. Yeah, it's something different. I think, um, I think winning mentality is big as well. I think the Champions League... I know Chelsea fans don't always rate him, even despite the fact he won the Champions League. If Arsenal are chasing the Premier League title in, in, the, in the last few games of the season, they can actually legitimately go on and win it. And he can, he can score the kind of goals that... Gabby Jesus can't score, Martinelli can't score. Arsenal last season, in my opinion, when, when they lost the league title, uh, do you remember that, Robbie? Um, uh, <laughs> when, they weren't, weren't, when they weren't good, then that's when they dropped points. Sometimes you, you can be rubbish and still win league titles. And you need players like Kai Havertz who can score those ugly goals, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So uh, for me, it's five, though. I, there are going to be some great players on this list. You can't put him above, you can't put him anywhere. Five based on this season? Based, five. On, based on this season, I'm going to put him in at four, I think. <sighs> All right. we're, we're, some great players are going to come up. You've got to think but how do you forward. Know? But there could be worse you, players that come you've up. You've got to think forward, Robbie. Come on. I am thinking forward. That's why I'm putting him in at four. Kai Havertz. I'm putting him in at four. He scored a deflected goal against Brentford Everything's every now a deflected. And then, Nobody like, scores real goals for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> every game you've lost has been a deflected Kai goal. Ha hasn't Kai Havertz. He's been four. brilliant. He's been brilliant. He's Let's been brilliant for club and country. It's all relative, isn't it? Four. OK. Straight into four. We've had two Arsenal players so far. So let's have a look who our next player is. Phil Foden, 
having his best season in a Man City shirt, maybe one of the Premier League's best players at the moment. Yeah, has he, he had a better season than Bakayo Saka? We talk about style and substance, don't we? We talk about style and substance. Phil Foden's got style. He's the best uh, aesthetically-looking player in the league. You love that word this well, week. I did, this because week, it's important. Please. We watch football <laughs> because of how cinematic it is. And, and Phil Foden is a total footballer of the highest level this country's ever produced. He's on the same level as, as Gascoigne. This country's ever produced. He's up there with Wayne Rooney. Gascoigne? Ru he's up there with, with Glenn Hoddle, with Wayne Rooney. Gascoigne? With Gascoigne. In terms of Stay talent. On, man. In, in terms of, this guy's won, what, what's he won? Five or six Premier League titles. He's still in his early 20s. The amount of goals he's, he's scored. He's done for England. And big goals. Gasc oh, no, England. Yeah, but we can't talk he, about we England. We saw him the other day. We can't talk about the England because of the manager, with all due respect. So he's what's he's a limited did? manager. He's a limited he manager. He Steven, the other we're thing. saving the Southgate yeah, chat for later. Steven so let's stick on Phil. England career, relatively speaking. Phil Foden has to be number one oh, for fine. what he's achieved in the league, for what he's doing at the moment. He's a total footballer. The high, you don't think he's on the same calibre so, of players, Wayne Rooney? Robbie, has he had a better season than Saka? I think it's been even between him and... Um, aesthetically, as he keeps going on, you may say Foden, yeah. right? Yeah. And maybe if he would have come up before, I might have had him in at two and Saka at three, I'm being honest. You've had because, two placements so far, does yeah, the movie get one? Yeah, I get because, one. Because, because we've already put Saka in at two, I put him in at three. No because, way! You, I'm seriously, Phil because, Foden's one of the best because, players in the world. Because I'm just thinking that... Phil this, Foden's one of the best players in the world. Saka's scraping, you know, last-minute winners show against, me that the other against, night against Porto. Against Brazil, did he? Phil Foden ran the Champions League the final. There's the stage for you. But we've why, been why told, we... I remember Rio Ferdinand saying that, you know, he's, he's world-class and Saka isn't. There's your stage why the other we, night. Why do we not talk England about the Champions versus, League final? Hold on. What's the highest England, stage in... Wait the highest level England in club versus football Brazil. is the Champions There's League final. There's your stage, Phil. Can't see him, mate. Yeah, we're not good. Listen. England's such a... Uh, international but, uh, football's on the same level. But why, having why said you not, that, Robin? I rate him. He's, he's a quality player. He's been having a first-class season. He's been yeah. your best player. What about the Champions League final last season? Why right, don't you talk about that? That's the highest decision, standard yeah. ever. You've had two I, selections so I'd go, far. I'd go three. Get one. He's been your best player, but you ain't been better Can than Can we us. just take, take club allegiances away? Who's a better footballer, Foden or Saka? If you think it's Saka, you don't know what day it is. I think it's Saka. No, but honestly, I like Saka. You think Saka's a better player than Phil Foden? And Saka. Oh, right, I need it's Phil Foden 1. Well, I'm, I'm going to allow Boovy to make this I'm walking off if it's not 1. I'll allow you to make this I'm walking score, off Boovie, now. I'm getting my taxi. <laughs> See you it's later. It's 1. Bye, it's 1. Saka's a better footballer than, um, than Phil Foden. Yeah, you, you, still you said you were going. Robbie, he's going, he's going, one. going 1. We're, man. Giving, we're giving Boovy the selection on this one. You've had the previous two selections. He has had a magnificent season. Up, or what's it, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, let's have a look. That's why you shouldn't have done 2. I was telling you at the next player is. Declan Rice wouldn't be 2. He's 1. He's had a better season than Saka. Oh, my God. Let's have a look, lads, who the next player is. Robbie, <laughs> you literally called it. He doesn't exactly understand the game, what Joe. I said. Declan Rice has been better than Phil Foden this season. But it's your fault He's for starting Saka too. It's a game. You've got to play the game no, sometimes, so the game Robbie. The is you would have put him okay. in at three, right? Maybe because if Arsenal played the game more exactly in the last 20 years, you'd have won the league Hold title. On, see, that's exactly what I said, because there's not a lot in it. I would, if, if, if he would have come out before, I may have put him in at two, right? He may have, yeah. If buts right? and maybes. But putting him at three is no embarrassment because Saka's slightly ahead of him. He's not slightly ahead of him, is he? To me, he's slightly ahead of him. But he's Declan not. Rice should definitely be in. Do you think Declan Rice had a better season than Foden? If we'd had a, 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 had a, if we'd had a fair Foden. debate about Saka and Foden, then Saka would have been three, Foden two. Declan Rice has been the best DM arguably in the world at club level this in season. In the world. I'll say that. Rodri, Rodri's there as well. And then you knew you shouldn't have put him there. You knew I told that. you. Did I not say at the but start? Saka, Saka's too, high up. Saka's too high up. Saka's too high up. You just think you're going to be the number one at everything. He's, you have to put him in at three. He's now, been amazing. Guess, but... But actually, you could argue Phil Foden's had a better season than, than, than Declan Rice. Uh, yeah, you could I also guess, argue are that. Are you convinced? Because there's definitely a chat about that. Phil Foden being nominated for Player of the Year, taking home Player of the and Year. And he should be. He well, he should be. I think what we do at the moment is we wait until the end of the season. But if we're talking about right now, he's top of the league. Yeah, you're top of the league. And who's been one what of the main What about a few months ago when Phil right? Foden was running the Champions League final against Inter Milan? Right? This guy's winning the Conference League and you guys are getting gassed up. He's been ago, fantastic. He's been a fantastic. few months ago, then before, 20 years ago, or in 20 years' time, <laughs> I'm dealing with now. You ask me what day it is, Saturday. Yeah, right? it's Saturday. On Saturday, it's Declan Rice has been the best player in the but league. But it's your fault for best putting year. Saka too. No, your fault for you don't You don't understand one. what you're looking at. You're, so, you're such an Arsenal, you're so biased as an Arsenal fan. I'm biased. fantastic. Yeah, because I'm a football fan first and foremost. You put Arsenal you're above your a, knowledge of football. You're not Saka a football fan, first of all. Saka above Phil enough. Foden. Come on. All right. Well, you've left only number five open. Could have been a risk. Saliba now. Watch this. <laughs> Let's have a look who player number five is. Well, you mentioned him earlier. You got away with one there, potentially. Good player. Good player. Entertaining player to watch. But I think putting him in at five is very, definitely fair. Easy. Yeah. Right? 
And had it not been for... Yeah, I mean, if you, it hadn't you been, been, been short-sighted, we would have sacked not have been three and had a fair poor discussion. Poor judgment, we would have had an accurate um, list there. But because of you... Yeah, but you've been in this industry biased. a long time. You've done blind, blind rankings. It's an you're, easy game, Robbie. You're biased. I'd go home and do some research next time we do blind rankings. And you do some research. <laughs> do some research and you know that Foden should be above Declan Rice. Yeah, but that's your fault, because... No, it's your we fault. We agree Foden's it's better than Saka. Fault. OK, what it's can I say? Fault. What do we just say? Listen... Foden Saka, there's nothing in it. There is. Let's be there's real. There's everything nothing in it. it. Like success, there's like nothing, titles, like trebles, nothing like FA Cups, like yeah, family yeah. titles. Saka, S- in Saka, it. Saka um, voted twice England's Player of the Year. Oh, well, so did Calvin Phillips, didn't he? Uh, Foden, so did Calvin uh, Foden, Foden so by what? the way. It, so during what? that time, you want... So that what? Time, world level don't... Ch- so the you world did, level don't what, mean nothing. The Champions League You're playing in World Cups. Well, boys, that means nothing. Yeah? Boys, boys. I don't think we're going to agree here, are we? So this is your final five. We're going to have a look at their final five. Blind ranking, of course, they didn't know who was coming left. They're definitely going to be arguing this in the advert break. I can guarantee you that.